look what I found. Anyway, the man in all his glory. Who was that guy? That brother was the best damn soldier that ever lived. How are you men doing? Congratulations on an amazing film. Great. Thank you. Thank you. How Great. you doing? I'm doing amazing now that I'm here with you guys. I feel very honored. So thank you for being here today. Thank you. Okay, first question goes to uh, Clark Peters, who played Otis in the film. I feel like your role is the epitome of brotherhood. Talk to me about how important it, it is to see this reflected in film during this time, Black men being together and having that bond. I think it's extremely important. It is as important as you breathing. Mm. You know, if we, if black men don't find a way to love each other, we might as well just go ahead and give ourselves up, really. And it was, and because I grew up out at, at of the 60s where there was that whole, you know, flower power peace love kind of thing, you know, that has stayed, that has stayed within me, you know? And I love these brothers. I love them off, you know, off the film as well. You know, so yeah, except for that one, wherever he is, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think, and I think, I think, it, I think that it is important for for uh, uh, for the youth, you know, to see that, and for the older brothers to be reminded of that because they were doing that back in the day themselves. They just forgot. Don't let this world, you know, uh, stifle your love. Mm -hmm. Don't let this world stifle your love. I love that. Thank you for saying that, um, Isaiah Whitlock Jr. Um, this is your, uh, now you're back working with Spike again. I know you worked with him in the 25th hour. Talk to me about working on the uh, Five Bloods and how different it was for you this go round with Spike. Uh, it's, this is about the sixth film that I've done with Spike. So I was saying earlier, I, I've, 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 I've gotten to know Spike. I know how he works and uh, uh, I've grown comfortable. Uh, working with him, and that that's a good thing. Uh, I don't bring the anxiety like I brought uh, first couple of films, you know, it's like, uh, I'll never forget the first time when I worked with him and he said, you know, you just gotta relax and do your thing. And when he walked away, I said to myself, do my thing. I didn't know I had a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I better, I better find it very quick. Well, I found my thing and I keep doing my thing. And basically what he was saying was like, look, just be yourself, relax, be yourself and bring that quality uh, that you have to the films, which is why you're there. So uh, I love working with him. Um, I hope it's not the last time. <laughs> and, um, I'll be there. Yes, and we can't wait to see you again. Now, Norm Lewis, that this, if, correct me if I'm wrong, this is your first time, hey, with Spike Lee. And I was told that when you got the script, um, you didn't know that initially he wanted you to be in the movie and you kind of hit him with the good luck. You know, I hope it goes well. Talk, yeah. to, me, yeah, talk to me about when you, read, when you read that script, were you attracted to the character Eddie first? And were you hoping and praying, yo, I hope this man hires me? <laughs> All of that, yeah, I just got a random phone call I mean, we've known each other throughout the years because he's come to see me do plays and things like that, and I've met him at events. But he had my number. He called me and said, yo, what are you doing? I said, well, nothing right now. He said, I'm sending you a script. Read it. Click. <laughs> this guy stayed up till four in the morning reading the script. And then he said, okay. He called me the next day and said, let's go have uh, dinner. We had dinner. Talked about the script. Still no, you know, no offer or anything like that. He's like, what do you think? I love the script. I said, it's great. You know, congratulations. I hope that this goes forward. And then <laughs> said, what do you think about Eddie? Eddie's a great character. Listen, congratulations. Keep going forward. I hope this works for you. I want you to play Eddie. Oh, thank God. There was some point to this whole thing. And so from that, it was uh, just so exciting and getting to know I was going to do a Spike Lee joint, knowing, reading the script that it was a departure from what he'd done before. I mean, still a lot of the same elements, but being, it's an action packed film. And the, the fact that I was going to go to Thailand and, and do this, this was, and working with Clark Peters and working with Isaiah Whitlock and Delroy Linda, all these great people I've admired for years. It was just, uh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I love that. Thank you. Any takeaways you want people to uh, take away from the film when they're done watching it? What would it be? Hope. 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 Learn your history and hope. Yes. Yes. For all of you. 
communicate with one another. Make, make, make sure that uh, that this isn't isn't just one chapter of your history that that you that you should uh, that you know. Now use this as the portal to everything else over the past hundred years, the good and the bad, the successes of the scientists, the mathematicians, the the the, the inventors, as well as the atrocities. You know, there's a there's a huge disparity in all of that stuff, you know, and America would not be America without us. And on top of that, one last thing, remember that we were brought there to somebody else's land who are in worse conditions than we are. Remember mm. the, the, the whose land we are really on. That's it. Thanks. This movie is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, there's so much, you, you, you get little nuggets here and there, but there's so much to learn. You can't do it all in two and a half hours and then say, okay, that's it. You've got to take that and expand on it and, and uh, you'll be the best for it, I think I feel. Thank you guys so much. Amazing film, Oscar worthy. Good luck with everything. Thank you, Jazzy <laughs> Bell. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.